One possibility is referred to as gradable antonymy. Now, this is a relationship between opposites where the positive of one term does not necessarily imply the negative of the other. In other words, the opposition is a matter of degree rather than absolute. This type of opposition is usually associated with adjectives such as wide, old, tall, hot, etc. The items in a set of gradable antonyms are all mutually exclusive. They're all gradable and they represent different points along a scale according to which they can differ. Here is an example of such a scale. Now we have the antonyms hot and cold, but between them there are several possibilities. Cold, for example, is a very low temperature. Cool is a bit higher. Tepid is somewhere in the middle. Warm is even higher and hot is the highest of these terms. The items are implicitly comparative terms and their definition varies according to the referent and according to the norm against which the referent is being assessed. For example, look at the term hot in a hot bath versus a hot drink. Well, certainly both involve different degrees of hotness. A second type of antonymy is referred to as non-gradable or binary antonymy. Now, this type of antonymy differs from gradable antonymy in that the opposition is absolute. There are just two incompatible terms in the set. One is the opposite of the other. Each of the following pairs exhibits this either-or relationship. For example, dead versus alive, or male and female, or pass and fail. However, as you all know, speakers can always alter these two term classifications to create special effects. Take the dead alive dichotomy. You can say something like, he's very much alive. Or you can say something like, uh, after the match, we were almost dead. And then look at this sentence. Zombies are neither dead nor alive. They are undead. Gradable? Well, that's actual language use. Incompatibility, another type of antonymy, can be thought of as a relation of exclusion. Incompatibles are terms which denote categories which share no members. If something is a dog, then it is not a cat, a mouse or an elephant. Sentences with incompatible terms will thus contradict each other. A well-known example is the set of color terms where for example, the meaning of blue is incompatible with the meaning of red, as well as with the meanings of the other color terms. It should be noted, though, that incompatibility does not necessarily imply oppositeness of meaning. Red is not the opposite of blue, it's just incompatible with it. Quite interestingly, the color terms do not have a superordinate term, since the term colored normally excludes black and white. We may have an example of hyponymy. Well, we will return to that issue later. A distinction is sometimes made between ordered and unordered taxonomies. For example, there's no natural way, as far as the meaning is concerned, to arrange the set of kitchen utensils such as cup and pot and fork and knife in any kind of order. By contrast, the days of the week constitute an ordered taxonomy.